So I'm gonna be under the phone like this. <laughs> I look so funny. <laughs> Double text. Got me out of my element. I don't wanna feel like I'm settling. Double text. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Morgan Flowers. As you can see from the title, we're gonna be talking to, as a matter of fact, hold on the intro. Because one thing that I wanna, okay, I'm gonna tell you what we're talking about. <laughs> we're gonna discuss a little bit of nano influencer things. Um, just how to balance a nine to five by, while trying to be a nano influencer and content creator. Um, and the reason I'm skipping the title is because I wanna do something with you guys on camera okay I want to figure out what my title should be right and so what I'm gonna do I have my computer here what I'm gonna do as a matter of fact maybe I should flip it okay so this is what we gonna do okay I'm gonna try to figure out what I should name this vlog okay or this this type of video so I want it to be very much nano influencer based and so I'm gonna type in nano influencer to see what other people are searching for. Okay, so it says nano influencer, Instagram brands, nano influencer versus micro influencer. So, influencer. Let me see if any there's any nano influencer vlogs. Not really. Ooh, okay. So maybe I shouldn't. Okay, so this isn't a good title because these only have very little views. Like it's no one really looking for this type of vlog. The first, the first video that pops up. If you guys can see, it has 229 views. Shout out to her. Hey, boo. Um, but this one has 50 views. So no one's really looking for nano influencer vlogs. So I don't want to name it that because I do want people to be able to search me that way. All right. So maybe what I'll do is I'm going to take out the word nano influencer vlog. Let me see what comes up for influencer vlog. Day in the life of an influencer Okay, so we have way more success with these. So as you can see, this one has 33K. This one has 184. This one has 30K. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call my video Influencer Vlog, right? And then, or maybe Day in the Life of Influencer. Okay, so Aaliyah's face did a Day in the Life of Influencer about a year ago. So, all right. So my, a lot of them that are popping up are people I'm already subscribed to, like Kayla Cake. Um, of course, um, Aaliyah's face. Aaliyah's face. So these people are already I'm already subscribed to Kyra influencer vlog. So I'm definitely gonna name it like influencer vlog. As I continue with the title, I'm gonna add in nano influencer. Like I'm gonna make it specific that it's not that I'm a nano influencer because I want to reach nano other nano influencers. Maybe if you're looking for this type of content. So I'm gonna call it influencer vlog. So welcome to my influencer vlog. <laughs> Um, and the first thing that I want to, well, the second thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to, um, yeah, look, day in the life of an influencer. Influ everything is popping up people that I'm already subscribed to. I don't like that, honestly, because I'm looking for, I'm trying to branch out and see what other people are doing. Now, all these people I watch already. So, of course, they're going to, of course, they're going to have a lot of views. But anyway, let's make our to-do list so that I can get into my day. Okay, so we have our Aaron On Demand top three book. I talked to you guys about this book before. Um, love it, you know. Um, I love planning my content with you guys on this book. I'm gonna, of course, have it linked below, just in case anyone is interested in this type of thing. And let's get into our top three tasks for today. Okay, so today's date is the 27th. So at the top, I'm just gonna put it. So the top three things that I wanna do today, um, we're gonna talk a little bit about how to create, how I'm gonna create this um, collaboration with a brand. So so for the first one, I wrote take pictures for brand and make a reel and then talk about what I do. So I did accept a, a, um, a gifted collaboration with an app that I want to create content for today. So I'm gonna do that in a little bit. But first, well, actually this should have been number two, but it's okay. Um, I like to usually do order of importance, but honestly, it's okay. Cause this is, this is probably the most important, but as far as how I'm going to do it through the day is going to be the, it's going to be a little backwards. So I do want to take pictures. Um, it is a Sunday. So my favorite day to take pictures is Sunday early because the place that I want to go, well, not my favorite, well, yeah, my, the favorite place that I like to go um is sunday morning because they're usually closed like it's a business so on the weekday they're usually packed and stuff so i want to take pictures i'm going to take you guys with me for that okay so i do also need to edit a video that i have on my 
SD card that's just chilling. So I need to edit that and get it out to you guys this week. And then I did write with a question mark, should I make a new video? I had a video in mind to make. Um, like one night I was trying to sleep and I could not sleep because I had this video on my mind. <laughs> I literally was up, I was trying to lay down, but I was thinking about it and I literally just took out my phone and I wrote in my notes everything that was on my mind in regards to that video. So I do want to do that video soon. It's kind of a sit down type of vibe. But um, I put a question mark next to it because I do have to work later. So we are kind of balancing the 9 to 5 plus a content creator influencer all today. So let's get into it. The first thing that I want to do is I want to go and take the pictures because like I said, it's, it's early. It's literally not even 8.30. So I want to go and take the pictures so that I can get that out of the way and I can come back here and do all the other little things that I need to do. So let's hit the road. Wait, before we hit the road, I want to figure out, I was trying to figure out what I should wear. So the vibe I was going for, I wanted to do a dress look, boom, with a coat. Oops, with a coat. Oh, you guys can't even see me. All right, let me move. So I wanted to do a dress with a coat of some sort, right? And I initially wanted to wear stockings. I literally have stockings on. But I didn't rip them all up. I wish, I wonder if you guys can see. I didn't rip the stockings all up trying to get them on. But the pur the purpose of me wanting to do this is because I saw this picture. Okay, I can't have this line here. Ugh, I gotta fix that. But I saw this picture of this girl and she had a dress on with her Chelsea boots and a, like a bubble coat. Now, mind you, I don't have a bubble coat. But I was like, how can I recreate this type of style in my wardrobe? That's something that I also do too. If I see a girl and she has a really cute outfit on i always think like okay how can i do i have anything in my closet that could create the same style for me right like if a girl has on leather pants with actually recently saw this picture actually she had leather pants on with a flat with a heel but it was a square toe heel so i was like that's kind of cute like just that that combination like having a little square toe popping out of your pants i was like do I have that in my closet? Like, how can I recreate that in my own wardrobe? And, of course, pick a different, pick a shirt. Because I didn't have the shirt that she had. But I was like, okay, how can I inc incorporate that style into my own wardrobe? So, I saw this picture of this girl. Like I said, she had a short skirt on, like a mini skirt. A bubble coat. And her Chelsea boots. So, I was like, okay, maybe I should throw a pair of stockings on. I wish my stockings were darker, actually. Because they're, like, my skin tone. And it doesn't really, it doesn't give the same effect. Um, so, I am going to have a coat on. I think I'm just gonna try this because like this is the only bubble coat type of vibe that I actually have. I do need to change my battery. I'm not playing with you, camera. I ain't playing with you. I'm changing you right now. But with the Chelsea boot vibe, you guys will see how it all turns out. Um, I do have to pick jewelry. I am going for a silver vibe. I have to pick a bag. So y'all gonna see how it come together. So the things that I typically bring with me to take pictures are of course my handy dandy <laughs> tripod. It's usually not this high. I forgot, what was I doing? I don't know what I was doing, but it's never this high. Um, but I always take my mini tripod, which I will also tag below. You guys can't see it because my camera is on it. But it's just this mini one. Um, I do have the Canon, but this mini one comes in handy. And usually I'll just prop it right up as I'm taking pictures so that I can also get the footage for you guys. Sorry, I'm moving. But I usually prop it right up so that I can also get footage for my vlog as I'm taking pictures on my camera. Oh wait, I lied. Oh my gosh, I just messed that up. This is not the tripod I bring. <laughs> I don't bring my camera. This is my camera tripod, as you guys can see from the top. This is the one that I use for my camera. I take pictures on my phone. So, <laughs> sorry. I use my phone tripod. Oh my gosh. That's why I was like, I don't know what I was doing. It was so high. It's usually pretty low. Um, I'm going to tag this one below as well. But this is just my little phone one. Um, it has like the little, you know, the little opening. And I just be flicking it up on here. It came with a... Oh, wait. This actually is not mine. My best friend gave me this because it came with a ring light to go on the top. But I didn't... But the ring light is like broken. So I don't... I don't have it attached so this actually I don't know where she got this from but I can tag an alternative below just something that is similar the same type of ring light vibe um not ring light vibe but the same type of like um phone part I can try to find something that's similar to this one I do like this one because it can move so when I do want to move my phone I'm just kind of like swirling it around 
or um and of course this does come out and everything i think um i was thinking if i can i was wondering if i was able oh i can pack this in my suitcase as well so yeah i'm gonna try and find one that's similar to this um so let's get out of here that's really all that i bring for pictures i don't bring a light or anything it's daylight so i don't really need a light to like enhance the picture um so that's all we're bringing and of course my camera so let's go so i'm actually looking for like a new picture spot um well one i haven't taken pictures in yet <laughs> for me um i kind of come around this city area often but i'm looking for a very let me let me get over okay the light is red good okay so i'm looking for a very I like a building look you know I don't want to keep going back to the same spot like that's one thing that I'm not trying to do um, I have already taken two pictures in the same spot so my skin looks good kind of but anyway I've already taken two pictures in the same spot so I don't want to overdo that spot so now I'm just like scoping out the city I was trying to do the universe like it's a university like back there but it wasn't what I expected. I guess they got class today. I don't know what's going on, but I saw some kids in book bags. It's security still out there. I guess I should have known that they would still be out kind of scoping the area. Um, police driving by. Like, literally, as I was turning, the cop was driving by me. So, I'm like, all right, maybe not trying to picture, take a picture here. But it wasn't given what I wanted it. It wasn't what I thought it was going to be. So, I wasn't going to stop there anyway. Even if the security hadn't been out there, it didn't. It wasn't the vibe. So, um... I'm gonna go to this other spot. So it's the same like vicinity and there usually is like cops driving around this area, but the buildings, sorry, my thing is in the way, but the buildings are building. <laughs> These are the buildings that I like. So um, I'm trying to think, the last time I took a picture, it was, it was over here in this little area. Um, but again, I don't wanna run out, I don't wanna burn out the same spot. So maybe I'll go this way. I'm trying to record and drive. <clears throat> Sorry, y'all. But maybe I'll go this way. Maybe let's see. This is like a parking garage. Let me see what's over here. Sorry, my can't my things in the way. So this is a. Does this have potential? Maybe, possibly. Um, this building on this side was the one that I pretty much the one that I had already. You see my car. But pretty much the one that I had already. Um, but it was just down further. But it look the building looks the same. So I wouldn't want to. I don't really want to take a picture in the same spot. So I'm going to try over here and see what we can find. Um, I definitely need more of a shadowy vibe. I don't want anything too bright or too sunny. So let's see how these come out. Okay, I think I got one. As you guys could tell, I was absolutely freezing. <laughs> and with these high buildings and stuff, um, it's it's even colder since the sun is not hitting this area. So when I say ears, like I had my I had my car still running because I was like, when I get in this car, I need all the heat I can get. Um, so I ended up liking the ones that were a little bit further out. Like the ones that were closer just wasn't giving. I didn't like the closer ones as much. I didn't like the closer ones as much. I love a walking video, y'all. That wasn't really a good example, but I basically couldn't find a really cute one that um, was cute enough to post that was close. Um, the ones that were further, when I was like a little bit further away, I ended up liking a little bit more. So um, if it would focus, that would be great. So the ones that were a little further where you could see why well, I look smaller, you could see like more of the building. I liked a little bit more. So one thing that I've been obsessed with lately when, lately when it comes to taking pictures is the building, the background. Um, there was a spot that I like to go to before, but I kind of grew out of it because I feel like it was too small. Like it was a little slab, it was in a parking garage similar to this one, but it was like a slab of space like it wasn't the full wall like i like a full 
picture it kind of makes my pictures look a little bit better a little bit more elegant you know what i should have done i should have bought a second outfit that's how the real content creators do it they buy like they switch the outfits out that's what i should have done but i wasn't really thinking and honestly i don't got that many outfits to be doing it like i'll be struggling trying to find one okay so um that my arm is hurting that way but basically that's kind of how i like to take my pictures more so now they kind of look more professional almost like it looks more like i put effort into the space into like the appearance of the picture because the building looks nice and i look nice but the building is just like the you know i don't know how to really explain it but um that's pretty much how i've been taking them um, i know some some people will comment saying like they don't they don't take pictures in public and stuff like that i would definitely recommend d trying a time that's not as busy like it's literally it's literally nothing going on this is the only other car that's out here so it's nothing going on um like i said doing it on a sunday worked best for me because like i said it's not it's this is a, these are businesses so during the week forget about it you're not going to find a parking spot people are going to be watching you I, i'm not be for that so if you're really like trying to stay away from people watching you then try a discreet place or try early in the morning like a time that people mainly are not out try like that um maybe like i said try with the discreet area maybe that's what you should try your pictures with first like even i'm shy i was explaining in my previous vlog that my dad wanted to take pictures in the mall in the elevator and he didn't um he had a little issue so he couldn't show up and i ended up being there by myself and i was like should i go and take pictures in this mall i was like no i just decided not to completely i was like you know what i ain't i ain't gonna do that to myself i'm not about to be embarrassed almost like not embarrassed but i don't like the stairs i don't like extra attention i'm not that type of girl so i'd be like don't look at me i'd be really trying hard in my mind to ignore people staring at me and stuff but try a place that's more discreet first if you're if you want to take pictures but you're a little shy um find a nice building um it is cold out here i don't know where you guys live but it's cold out here um so i'm just taking a risk and taking pictures when it's freezing um but try a try a place that's maybe outdoor i like outdoor spots but that would be my suggestion for people who are trying to get into pictures but maybe you just can't maybe you don't want to maybe you're a little shy just do it <laughs> so i'm actually home now i ended up stopping for some matcha which i'm almost finished <laughs> but but the next thing that i have on my list to do is the post with the app that i was talking about um i was gonna do it on my phone because i wanted to record for you guys but i can't do it on my phone because i need to show my phone on the camera so um i'm gonna set up and kind of show you guys the final product and what i come up with um but as far as the bloom app goes it's just like a meditation app as you can hear the music it's like a meditation app and basically the first question on the screen is asking how are you feeling and then you just kind of go through the app and fill different things out and i'm going to record the process if you have me on instagram you guys will see this shortly and um let's i'm going to switch over so i can use my camera and get this out of the way so let's go so for the first part of my recording i just showed myself putting on this kind of relaxing vibe because it gives a very meditation very relaxing the app is very sleep friendly so if you want to go on and kind of put the music on as you can hear it's still playing <laughs> It's still, it's literally still playing. So I kind of wanted it to fit a very relaxing vibe. I'm actually gonna take my case off so that it doesn't clash with the color. Like this blue is nice, but for this vibe, I think it can be caseless. Um, yeah, so I want it to be very like, I'm pulling out my phone and you see me going into the app and I'm ready to relax. Like that's the vibe that I want to ev evoke if that's the right word <laughs> so i'm gonna keep recording but i'm gonna keep stopping to show you guys how i'm doing it because like, you guys can't see so um basically in the first clips i just showed myself putting this on and it's just gonna be very like oh i'm about to relax and just run down and open up my app and yada 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 so come on so the next scene that i did was just me kind of getting into bed it's clearly daytime so it's kind of messing up the vibe but i don't i'm doing a double tonight so i don't have time to do it at night and i think the light time the light in here does help with how the the clarity of the video like at night time my night time doesn't the the camera doesn't pick up the quality that well at night time in my house because it's dark it's dim it's dull um then i would have to put like a light on like that kind of just defeats the purpose 
I think the the light the brightness of my apartment fits better for the clarity that I want to give off for the video. So we just gonna roll with it. We gonna ignore the fact that it's daytime. <laughs> um. So let's keep going. <laughs> you guys are above me. Hi. Um. I I feel like it's dirty to put this tripod on my bed, but I want the camera to be above me. You know, I want the camera to show like looking down on the phone, kind of like you guys are in the vibe with me. So I'm gonna be under the phone like this. <laughs> I look so funny. <laughs> I look so funny. But I'm gonna be under the camera like this. I'm gonna zoom in really close so you guys can see me scrolling like you're standing above me. So I have to figure out the best way for this to be like positioned. Um, and then, yeah, you guys will, yeah, 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 yeah. you guys will see later. <laughs> so now that I pretty much finished the content, um, what I decided to do, I just wanted to give, like I said, different angles, different, um, showing you guys the camera, showing you guys the phone, me scrolling through the app. It is going to be a voiceover. I think I have to talk about the brand. I'm going to read the email again, but I have to talk about the brand just like its uses. The sound is killing me. I feel like I can't hear myself. <laughs> But the sound is really relaxing like that's the whole pur purpose of the app and since you guys didn't get to see me actually doing it I'm going to show you guys a little bit of it. So the app is really cool. This isn't sponsored Like I said, it's just gifted and it's not this isn't something that I have to do for YouTube But I wanted to show you guys just in case you guys are interested in this type of thing. So it's called the bloom app and basically Let me let me zoom it in so basically um, they have different tabs for different activity type of different themes basically. So this is your actual Bloom app. You see it's really pretty actually. Um, and then you go over here. This is the meditation part. So this is the one that I was mainly focusing on in the video. Just kind of talking about the meditation. And I was actually watching I think it was the thoughts are like clouds. I watched this one here. Um, and basically she was just talking, helping you with the breathing. Um, I kind of closed my eyes and just was kind of really getting into the moment. Um, this one is movement where they give you different types of movements, yoga, that whole type of thing. And then you get into the sleep library where it's just uh, helping you sleep better and just kind of unwinding, relaxing your mind before you go to sleep. They have some music here. So it's just, it's actually a really... Excuse me, let me back you guys back up. It's actually a pretty decent app as far as the functionality of it and the usage. Now you do have to pay for the app, so this would be something that um, if you're really into that type of thing and you really find these different things useful, I think that this is pretty cool actually. I do get, with my little sponsorship, I get like two, I think it's two months free and after two months, it's $10 a month. So um, I thought that was really, I thought the app, the app is cool. I'm not gonna lie. The app is cool, I'm not gonna lie. So, um, that was nice. And, uh, what else? Oh, they do have a travel one. I forgot to show you guys the last one. This last tab, if it will focus, it's a travel, like, page. So, I thought this was, this was really cool, I'm not gonna lie. So, I do want to edit that footage and get it out. But what I do wanted to talk to you, what I did want to talk to you guys about was, basically what I do with collaborations and how I how I use their social media to figure out exactly what mine should look like. So I go into their social media account. Um, it is called the Bloom app. So this is the page here. So basically what I'm gonna do, how I, next I need to take a picture for my thumbnail. So how I'm gonna do that is basically I'm gonna look through their page to see exactly what type of vibe that they have on their page. So as you can see, it's very meditation based. The, oh. <laughs> That's because I don't have a case on. <laughs> it's just slipping on my hands. So it's very meditation based. Um, as you can see, this is very relaxing. Um, they did say in the email um, for for like a better chance of me getting reposted. They like plain backgrounds. They they like the pictures to look like this. So that's kind of what the picture, what my thumbnail is going to look like. Um, they have this girl on here. Boom, boom, boom. So pictures like this is mainly what they seem to be into um very yeah see like pictures like this holding it i don't really want to yeah do i really want to hold it and have my face in it oh my gosh <laughs> do i really want to do that mm, don't know um yeah so this is nice this is very like their aesthetic so basically i just look through their page to see what exactly see she's like holding it too this is a good picture yeah, this is a good picture. But basically, I just look to see what type of vibe that they already have on their page. And I try to 
just add my own little touch to it so i don't know if i really want any pictures of of like my face i don't really know if i want to be on it like this like i, I don't really want to do that <laughs> i don't really want to do that that's not really like my vibe like if you look at my page you don't see nothing like this <laughs> you don't see nothing like that on my page so um like this is cute like her just sitting here um it gives a very much it's her her background is white okay so it gives a very much yoga type of vibe as you can see she's holding the app yeah as you can see she's holding the app and everything so i kind of want to use how am i going to do this actually i don't know i don't know how i'm going to do it i i don't know yet i'm thinking maybe uh, mm, maybe i should have my back to the camera but behind me you'll see the picture like maybe i'll just be like this like i'm holding it and the, take the pictures from behind but you can see the like i don't know if i want my face in it like that's what it, that's really what it comes down to i feel like it might be kind of awkward but i don't know i'm gonna figure it out how to do the thumbnail in a, in a moment i'm gonna use my camera again so you guys won't be able to see like how i do it but that's why i'm explaining it so you guys can kind of see like my thought process when i'm doing stuff like this so um I'm going to probably use this back wall here. That's kind of what I've been doing as of late. Just this little area. And then I'll kind of just set the camera up so that you can't see like my window and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So I can finish this and have it. I don't know if I'm going to have. Mm, I guess I could post it for my. I guess I could do today's reel because it is Sunday. It could be very. And I don't have a reel for today actually. I don't even have a reel for today. So I'm going to do it for Sunday. Okay, I'm done talking. Bye. Okay, so I did pretty much get something that I was comfortable with st sticking with from my thumbnail picture. So the next thing on my list I have to do is to edit the perfume video, which I will complete today. Um, oh shoot, what time is it? I think my vlog went up today. At what's, I don't remember what time I set it for. Okay, it didn't come out yet. So <laughs> I forgot what time I set it for, but it's 11.30. Um my vlog does come out today so i will have my perfume one up either monday or tuesday so i'm going to finish editing editing that out making sure that all of that is good get all my links together so i can have that done and then and then i do have some other things that i really wanted to do a i really wanted to do a tiktok for um just some things that i got from shein that i didn't completely talk about or i didn't show yet um and i do like to repurpose my footage so basically that's just using what i use for twitter and also using it for instagram and what i use not for twitter y'all what am i talking about what i use for tiktok i also use for instagram and then also using those footages to make a youtube short so i do like to repurpose my footage as well because it just maximum i did have different followers or different platforms you may have me on instagram but maybe you don't have a tiktok or maybe you have me on tiktok but you don't have me on instagram so the point is to convert your followers and to have them follow you on different social media platforms um i do always switch the songs and stuff so that it's a different vibe sometimes i'll re-edit um and what i like to use for editing is i like to use cap cut um and pretty much I just I like to film the clips on my phone and then I'll just upload them to CapCut. So I'm going to show you guys the one that I did um, the other day. Okay, so this is a TikTok that I made the other day. And this is an example of repurposing footage. So, okay, so I have my CapCut here. I guess I can zoom you guys in some. So this is going to be, this was already made into a TikTok. I didn't use it for Instagram just yet. Um, because I did, I showed you guys in my previous vlog, I had like a walking, I did a video on this staircase. So I was like, you know what, let me take the staircase footage and actually make it into a TikTok because I realized that one of my TikToks on taking Instagram more seriously and I posted some pictures that got about a little over 3,000 views. So I was like, well, people like that type of stuff. So maybe I'll continue with it. So I just made this one into a cap cut video as well. Just basically using the walking footage. And then I added all the pictures into the footage as well. So I'm going to edit this. Um, I'm going to actually, I'm going to actually use that same, uh, those same video footage to make a reel, uh, which is basically how I repurpose my footage, my footage to use for different apps. So I have to edit this all up and chop it up and make it look half decent. And I also have another clip that I'm going to use to chop up and make into a reel. And then of course put a song over it. 
I'll probably slow something down. I'll probably do like a reverse. That's usually stuff that I like to do. I like to move with the beat as well. So if I so what I'll do first is I'll find the sound that I want to use and then um and then basically study the beat almost. Um they do have some real tutorials. My favorite real tutorial um page is Kensington. Oh my gosh, what is it called? Oh here it is, there it is. I think it's Kensington Gray. Yes. So this is one of my favorite pages that I that gives you tutorials for how to make reels or how to make reels to a beat. So this this page, sorry I'm all over the place. This page gives really good tips on how to be um savvy when it comes to reels and as you can see it's very black girl friendly. I think it is a black owned or it's a black owned management. Yes, see look. It says we pair black creators with brands and share tips to help them develop to help them master their master their craft. Oh my gosh. So Basically, they give really good tips on how to do reels using apps like CapCut and there is another app that they like to stick with. So, so they literally, I'm not going to play it because I don't want to get copyrighted, but they're, they give you, as you can see, this is already four, one, two, three, four, five. They give really good reel tutorials if you're ever looking for, to just try to expand your content and try different things. Maybe you don't know how, they literally tell you. So they literally tell you how many... So they basically tell you how many clips and um, just the seconds that you should have for each clip so that you can go with the beat. So this is a great way to kind of just, like I said, expand your content and try different things. Um, eight clips for 3.89 seconds. So this is created using the VN app. Like I said, I have CapCut, which doesn't give this specific time like that. Like it's a little bit different. If you are looking for something like this, I would definitely recommend you downloading the VN app. But um, this is a great page that I like to use. I actually did I actually did use one of the tutorials for a reel that I made. Let me see if I can find it. So I did find the reel. Um, as you guys know, I've been doing the 28 day reel challenge. So literally post a reel every single day. Um, so as far as the reel that I use from the Kensington Gray um, page, it's this one. But I'm not sure if it's going to get copywritten. So I'm going to just turn it down. It's going to be like a moment of silence because I don't want to get copywritten. <laughs> Oops, sorry, I'm hitting the camera. But this is the reel that I use. It basically just gave me the second of the seconds for each clip. So let's go. As you can see, it's going really fast. Okay, so I just wanted you guys to hear the beat so you can see how the clips are going with the footage. But basically, it allows you to go really, really fast. And that was something that I got from Kensington Gray. So if you're interested in making reels and trying to figure out, okay, well, how should stuff look and how should, what songs are trending, stuff like that, this page is great for it. So again, <laughs> oh, I had a heart attack. <laughs> Sorry, okay, I had a heart attack, but <laughs> I can't wait to watch that back. But anyway, I was basically saying like um just repurposing <laughs> repurposing the footage for TikTok and for Instagram. So basically I do the same type of thing. Um I do the same type of reel. I'll switch it up, I'll switch to the beat. Um sometimes you know TikTok has a beat sync feature where you can just upload the clips and they'll sync it to the beat for you, which I love. Like that's probably one of my favorite features of TikTok. Just like the syncing to the beat, like that is genius to me because it just be going with the flow. It just be moving. Um, so that's cool. And um, so what I'm going to do is, like I said, I just have this stuff from Shein. I did get a dress from Meniere de Voir. So I could talk about that dress. Um, yeah, maybe I could do, a, maybe I could do a, a TikTok of that dress. Just sh literally showing the dress. Maybe some close-ups. It's going on 12 now. Like I said, I have to work at 3. So I'm really trying to just knock out all my content. Um, not for the week, but just so that I have stuff in the tuck. Like, that's really what I, how I like to do. Um, I know bigger content creators do like a bulk create and they'll just make content. Like I was saying earlier, they'll take the clothes with them to their, to their shoot and then they'll just switch locations and just kind of get a bulk photo shoot type of thing. So that's always genius. I never, like I said, I don't, I don't, I don't be having enough outfits to really be just switching like that. Like I really have to think about my outfits. So yeah but basically i'm just gonna bulk create some and then um just kind of get ready for work up until then um you guys will see all the reels and the tiktoks and the instagram posts the pictures that i took earlier um they were kind of okay 
they were okay. I don't want to do it again. Like, I don't want to put the same outfit back on and go out there again. Like, I hate the idea of doing that. I really want to... I, I, I took enough pictures. Like, I should like something. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I didn't really like most of the pictures that I took. So, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to post those yet. But if you guys see them on my Instagram, then that means I, I found something that was alright. <laughs> um, so... So, um, I am going to record the reel on my camera because my phone storage is trash. Like, I have 64 gigabytes. I don't know what, I don't know, I don't know why I ever thought that was a lot. I really need to upgrade and get a higher gigabyte because my phone storage, I can barely record stuff and I hate when my phone kicks me out. Oh my gosh, when my phone kicks me out because I don't have enough storage and I'm in the middle of doing something. Oh my gosh, I have a, I have a heart attack. Like, are you serious? I'm busy. You messing up my flow so so i'm not gonna do it on my phone i'm gonna use my camera to do some content i mentioned to you guys before someone asked me like how do i do it i this is how i guess <laughs> just kind of creating taking these little moments like before i go to work just taking that moment um to really sit down and just think if i if i need to just brainstorm and figure out what, what type of content that i want to do then i do that as well but sometimes it's just go mode like sometimes you just gotta just do it get up in the morning go take your pictures um as i'm driving um it's literally just paying attention looking for different places okay that looks like a nice building that's a nice building too um over there looks like a nice spot i could get a picture like that's literally me while i'm driving and i saw a tiktok recently they were talking about how being a content creator is like a full-time job i was trying to sit on my bed but the lighting is isn't that great over there but i was just trying to say like the the tiktok was talking about how switching your nine to five to do just content like it sounds like such a great idea but he was saying how like being a content creator your mind is literally on content all of the time and i was like that's so crazy because that's literally me like it's always it's a constant thought like you switch your nine you think you about to quit your nine to five because you want to do content a content is 24 7 like <laughs> every day like unless you're really dedicating Unless you're picking a day out of the week where you're not doing anything content related at all, like unless you make that mental note to yourself or really be strict with your um, with your content days, it's all the time. You know, if I'm not thinking about content, if I'm not recording content, then I'm probably editing it or I'm probably thinking about it or I'm probably thinking like, OK, how can I incorporate this? Or if I go out to dinner with my friends, it's no just chilling at this point. It's no just like. I'm just gonna chill no is this i'm recording the food <laughs> i'm getting a selfie i'm getting myself uh, uh, like it's it's constant it's 24 7 and i like it <laughs> i like it <laughs> i'm not complaining by any means by any means but um i think to be like a real a, a big content creator i think that's 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 what you need to do <laughs> like you probably you need to like really lock into content all the time because if so doing stuff like the 28 day real challenge I've literally posted every day. I have not skipped a day at all. And now that doesn't mean like, shout out to you, to the girls who took a break. Like it doesn't mean that, you know, um, you're not doing good because you ain't, you ain't keep up with it. But the 28 day real challenge is a, it's a challenge. And like I said, I do want to continue doing it for, um, going into March because it's just like, I, you notice the growth like I see I got a ran I got a, like a few random followers earlier today so I think stuff like that comes from reels it comes from being consistent and to be like a, a full-time content creator that's really that's what content creators do yes they take breaks for themselves of course but um it still is a constant thought it's constantly like well what type of what can I do this week so I can get it for the vlog like <laughs> what can I do this week that'll make the vlog a little bit more interesting or what can I do this week that my my um that my supporters will enjoy you know it's a constant a constant thought so this stuff is no joke but I like it I love it actually <laughs> I love it so um I'm gonna get into the TikTok of the day and um I'm probably gonna edit this reel a little bit later um well should i do it now nah i want to get in the, i want to do a tiktok i'm i'm in a zone i'm in a zone so let's go so um i keep moving you guys clearly <laughs> but this is the dress that i got from menor menor devoir however you say it so it's this very very wintry you know the the sleeves are pretty long i love this like it's not ribbed it's like it's kind of ribbed, but it's like, it gives. It gives high quality. And it, 
It doesn't stink. It doesn't stink. You know how you know how that that red material has a stink to it, has a smell. So this one has this little Menor Devoir little plate at the back, and it also comes with a belt. So the belt is just like a little braided rope that I, you know, you just tie around the waist. And I love that. The only thing is, I don't know how to tie it. I don't know what, am I just supposed to do a little loop-de-loop? -loop? I don't know. But that's beside the point. But basically, that's pretty much what I got from Menor Devoir. And what I'm going to do with this footage, I'm going to, I'm going to show myself putting it on. Um, I'm going to get some close-ups of the bottom of like, you know, just tying, just wrapping the belt around. Maybe I'll get a, a, a clip of the cinching in the back. Like, you know, just, just really some good detail shots that will attract the viewer. And this, this content I can also repurpose for my reels as well. Today I'm focusing on uploading it for TikTok, but I am going to repurpose it and use it for a reel sometime later in the week. Um, I did also get a pair of biker shorts from Minior Devoir. I didn't show this on my regular vlog because I wanted to create, I wanted to do a collective haul. That's what I was going to do. But I was saying in my previous vlog that I didn't really feel like the stuff I got from Shein didn't really give. Like it was just Ari. Like it wasn't like anything that I really wanted to show you guys, you know. So I was going to include this in the haul for the collective haul, but I'm probably not going to. I'm not going to do the collective haul. So I'm just going to use that stuff that I, I'm pointing over here because I literally have it on the floor. But, excuse me, I'm just going to use that stuff to create reels and TikToks. So this is the pair of shorts that I got from Menor Devoir. It's like this really nice material. It's really stretchy. And, um, of course, it's like it has these like little lines. It's super cute. And, again, it's just a Menor Devoir plate. So I'm going to create some content using this stuff. And again, like I said, repurposing. Like, if you're a content creator, repurpose your stuff. Use your stuff for TikTok. Not to bore your followers. I mean, unfortunately, if you have the same followers on both platforms, they're going to kind of be seeing the same content. But that's why I like to switch it up. I like to use a different beat. I edit it differently. Um, I may cut the clips a little bit differently so that some of them are faster and then some of them are slower. Maybe I'll do a slow-mo and a reverse. And I, I, I switch it up, you know. So let's get into this content. And um, by the time you guys see me again, I'll be done with the real for, well, the real TikTok, whatever. I'll be done with the dress by the time you guys see me again. So, let's get into it. <laughs> so, I'm finished. <laughs> my aesthetic for my reels, TikToks, that type of thing, I like close-ups. So, I was making sure I focused on getting a close-up of me, like, cinching, cinching the dress. I was making sure I showed me pulling the waist together. Make sure I showed the texture of it. I like those close-up vibes. I did also, whoa, I did also pair her with a pair of heels because I basically was saying how these ropey heels goes perfect with this ropey type of vibe. Um, I haven't worn this dress yet, but this is definitely a look. You know, if I just kind of wear these little square toe type of heels with it. Um, so that's done. I'm sweating in this little hot thing. Um, the only thing is like, of course, these are open toe heels and then the top is like winterish. So that's the only like struggle I'm having. But I guess the dilemma could be, I mean, I guess I could also wear those, let those high knee boots that I have. I don't know. But basically I have options options and that's like that's what i like to focus on when it comes to my content um my specific aesthetic i like to focus on the texture and me buttoning i like close-ups i like angles um i like that type of stuff so the real or the tiktok reel for this dress is finished so i'm about to take this off in a second because like i said i'm hot i'm hot burning up and um i haven't eaten lunch or anything so i'm probably gonna wrap this video up here thank you guys so much for watching and being here with me for today this influencer type of vlog um i can do more of these if you guys want to see anything in detail or maybe how i do my cap cut or how i you know anything like that just let me know in the comments down below thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video